Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video. My name is Creepers and I'm here today to talk about our newest champion, Realm, Rage of the Abyss. The new frontline to come day 6 of November, but possibly coming day 11 to PDS or around that, something like that. Now, as for the lore, that's not actually what I'm here for. I'm gonna actually be talking about his abilities and most of his stats even cards legendaries and the lore will remain for another time because possibly we're gonna get some more lore in the future so let's just jump into it so let's talk about his main fire his weapon is named hellfire gatling this is pretty much like a minigun and i'm gonna be calling her the minigun so it's easier for you guys to understand the gatling gun from the depths of the abyss will create soul fragments this means that every time you shoot it it has around 500 ammunitions and when you hit six times at least in one person it will create a soul fragment this soul fragment is like a little skull it will fall to the ground and if you're close enough to it it will capture it now we'll talk about that when i mention the next ability the soul are harvest but for now let's just talk about the weapon it has around 500 bullets as i mentioned before it does 45 per bullet and it actually has to start spinning slowly until it hits its max speed so pretty much almost like the ruckus guns as you guys probably already know so that's actually pretty much about that but then you have the alternative fire which basically goes hand to hand with the main fire which goes by the name of ignition now ignition pretty much what it does is it will cut down the time that it actually takes to make your weapon go to a full speed of already spinning and if for three seconds you will not have to actually waste any ammunition whatsoever so that's actually pretty cool you can use this at any time whatsoever it then has a cooldown possibly it doesn't talk about here about the cooldowns but you can use this in the beginning if you don't have to basically wait and you need to start doing damage as fast as possible so you don't have to take that one second or whatever the time is to get your weapon at full max speed of spinning or you can just use it at last possible of the 500 ammunitions so for those three seconds after you don't have to reload and you can actually burst down somebody who is really low and running away from you now let's go to his ability his first ability soul harvest and this is what i wanted to talk about now as you guys remember as i mentioned when you hit enemies with your weapon hellfire gatling you after six times after six bullets hits an enemy it will drop a soul fragment looking a little bit like a skull now if you're close enough to these skulls it will collect them automatically and this will create like a secondary hp bar now as according to what i understood this this hp bar cannot be cauterizable so it's impossible for you to stop realm from healing this bar and the only thing that your allies will be able to heal will actually be your main 4500 hp initially your standard hp okay the second bar they possibly cannot heal it and only ram can heal it but with the skulls so he has to go and deal damage in order to heal it again or he can use the ability that i mentioned just now soul harvest soul harvest will allow you to actually collect these skulls even if you're not close to them if they're really far away they're on the other side of the map as long as there's skulls to collect available even if there isn't but when there is skulls available to collect you'll see a number on top of the ability pretty much like the orbs of ceres now if you don't have any skulls to collect you'll still heal for 1500 so that's it for the first ability now let's go into his second ability which is his movement ability called juggernaut this is actually pretty insane because his ability is even stronger possibly than the shoulder bash from ash he doesn't stop when connecting to anybody and you can actually direct him during the entire ability so you can go left right keep going straight forward do a 180 go back you can do a lot of things and when you connect to an enemy you'll still go through he will be knocked up in the air pretty much like bounce house and you'll deal 700 damage now there's talents and cards that go for this talent but this ability but we'll talk about that in just a few seconds let's go for his ultimate his ultimate is actually cataclysm cataclysm it basically allows him to stand stomp his foot on the ground and right in front of him it creates a cone with five different power like power damage lanes that will create this ray on the ground and anything that it hits it will deal 999 damage it will stun enemies and it will also destroy deployables 
and shields so it's actually a very powerful ability is ultimate pretty much you know you have to charge it up but there's a talent that actually allows you to charge it up a lot faster now before we go into the talents i just want to mention one thing you may be thinking so does he actually remain with this secondary hp bar the one that it's uncauterizable after he collects the skulls and so on no after a certain time if he doesn't collect skulls or if he doesn't heal that bar or if he doesn't take any damage that bar will disappear now this is not on the patch notes but this is something that i observated when we were watching the showcase i noticed that after for a certain time with no fighting whatsoever that bar would disappear now what you can do to have an initial bar it's actually use your soul harvest but it will be a lot better for you to actually shoot at long range, hit somebody that's going on to the direction of the point, get those skulls even if they're not close to you, and only then you'll use the soul harvest because then you'll be able to get those skulls that you left behind. I believe his weapon is supposed to have damage drop off like Ruckus, but during the showcase I did not see that damage actually go down, so I'm not entirely sure. Even so, let's continue. Let's talk about his talents. His three different talents here are Enforcer, Earth Splitter and Subservience. So the first one that's named Enforcer, it will allow you to actually take 75% less damage when using the Juggernaut. I believe you can cancel this ability at any time, by the way, it's just a little heads up, and I'm not entirely sure. When we get to PDS, we'll try to test stuff out with this ability, so just wait for PDS. Second talent, Earth Splitter, will allow you to increase your ultimate charge by 60% percent this is actually insane it's actually the biggest charge rate that i've ever seen i guess that they really want you to use this ability as much as possible they even mentioned during the showcase that this is actually more of an ability than actually its ultimate but even so let's continue to his third and final talent subservience and in this you will be able to heal your allies as long as you're close to them what it will take to heal to those allies is either collect skulls so you can shoot somebody that's right in front of you, you can create these skulls, heal you, and heal your allies, all right? It will not create a secondary HP bar like for yourself, but it will actually heal them, so it can be cauterizable, be careful with that. Or you can even use your Q, the Soul Harvest, and actually heal them for an, an X amount of HP. Now, one thing that I noticed is that when you did not have any skulls to collect, the percentage of heals that it would give to an ally with the Q, it would actually take you two soul harvests to fully give the HP of a Cassie. So sort of, you sort of have your own idea that if you don't have any skulls to collect, you can actually use a soul harvest. All right, now just to finish off the video, let's go through his cards. Let's talk about this first four, four cards, the weapon and armor cards. The first one will allow you to get you a shield for three seconds after dropping below 30% HP. The next card will allow you to increase your reload speed. The third card will allow you to reduce the time it takes to spin up your Hellfire Gatling, which I'm guessing this is gonna be pretty useless if you're going to use the secondary fire. And then his final card will increase your maximum HP. So you can even have more than 4,500. Now onto the cards related to this Soul Harvest. His first card will allow you to reduce the cooldown of Juggernaut by x amount of seconds after activating soul harvest now the second card for this it actually states the following each soul fragment gathered heals you for x amount now i would actually say that this would allow you to heal for more but before they actually mentioned that it creates an armor now this armor i believe that it's not actually able to be destroyed with wrecker so you sort of have here the idea, although I actually would like the concept to be Wrecker so it could actually be easier to kill, but it actually states here that it heals you, so I'm guessing it's going to heal your main bar, so you can actually heal two bars at the same time, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. Now let's go into his third card, heal for X after activating Soul Harvest, so there you go, another ability that will possibly allow you to heal your main HP bar and not the armor bar. Now his fourth card will say, reduce your damage taken by X percent for three seconds after activating Soul Harvest. So some damage reduction after using that ability is actually pretty cool. Now let's go into his Ignition, 
which will allow you to produce a cooldown of Ignition, the first card. The second card will give you a shield for three seconds after using Ignition. The third card will reduce your damage taken by X amount percent for three seconds after activating Ignition, more damage reduction. And finally, his fourth card about this, this ability will generate ammo after activating Ignition. So if you have to use it by the end where you already consumed pretty much all the 500 bullets and you want that extra even after three seconds are over you can even get some extra ammo now let's go to the cards of his juggernaut his juggernaut cards the first one will heal you for a specific amount for each champion hit by juggernaut so so if you use this card you possibly you can hit like the entire team and get healed by each one of them which is actually pretty cool i'm guessing that if this actually goes for your main hp bar like the other cards that i just mentioned before it's possibly going to have effects if people are cauterizing you so be careful with that a bit of that little card now let's go into his second card increase the potency of juggernaut's knockup you can actually make them go even higher in the air although they are not pushed back left or right they're just pushed upwards so i'm not entirely sure if this is actually a card to bet on but even so you know it's pretty good now let's go into the third card gain a shield for three seconds after activating juggernaut so you can start off a little bit a little boost of a shield right there protecting you when you start off with juggernaut but it's only for three seconds i'm not entirely sure what the duration of juggernaut is so we're gonna have to wait that for for the pds and get some testing done but even so you can have a little boost if somebody's trying to kill you maybe when you're using juggernaut to run away or to actually charge into the enemies and his final card increase the distance traveled by juggernaut this is a card that i definitely want to use because it will give you eight percent for each point and you can put up to five points so it's 40 percent extra more distance that's actually pretty damn good and i really want to test that out together with the talent for the juggernaut so let's go now just to end this wrap this up i'm just going to be talking about the skins really quick there's three skins that come for realm one of them is the subjugator realm that will cost you 6000 gold or 200 crystals it's basically his recolor it comes also now with a crown a flaming crown on top and it becomes a lot darker a little bit more purplish and then there's one which is called the abyssal lord realm he's gonna have the colors of the abyss and this one and to get this one you actually have to own the season pass which for example i have it so i'm gonna get it for free it's actually pretty cool it's not gonna be silver this time it's actually gonna be related to the abyss and finally you're gonna have the golden realm which will be unlocked by basically getting to level 50. now one thing that i loved about the golden realm is that it actually kept that fire their fire crown on top of his head which if you notice in his base skin it will not have so only the recolor the first recolor not the season pass recolor just the the normal recolor you get for gold and the, the gold skin will have this which by the way just since i'm talking about this could we actually get the gold skin for furia looking the exact same thing as his recolor because i kind of hit it i kind of don't like the change they did there but even so that is pretty much it for this video i'll be doing videos for the rest of the things but i just wanted to get things a little bit more separated so you guys can actually go and watch what you want instead of having to watching a 20 30 minute video and it'll be a lot easier to understand and so on if you have any questions Make sure to go down in the comments below, let me know. Also, let me know what you're most excited to test out with the ROM when it comes out. And if you have any doubts that you may want to just check instead of just going back in the video and so on, I'll leave the link in the description for the patch notes. So I'll see you in the next video. And until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye, guys.